Hey gang, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to the uh, Marlar House Productions studio, weirdos. Uh, let me close that door. That doesn't look very nice. Um, also, my my bride might come home soon. So I wanted to share something with you. Um, the the folks over at uh, Creepy Crate, they're actually it's the lineup.com, but they have something every month that they send out, or I think it's every other month, called the Creepy Crate. And they had an extra one from October, so they decided to send it to me. I have not opened this. I've never seen one of these before. Um, but it's a, it's a, a subscription thing. Uh, by the way, they're not sponsoring this video. Um, I just thought it was really cool that they, said, they uh, decided to send it to me. So I thought I'd share it with you as I opened it up, because obviously you people love creepy stuff. So uh, right off the bat, I love this box. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where they got a box like this, but that is just too stinking cool. They should, they, just an idea for anybody out there who wants, who's looking for a business idea, find, do a, do a, prescription, a subscription box that's just full of other boxes. That look like <laughs> that look like this boxes that you could just unfold and put together yourself that have a creepy theme to them. That would be really cool. All right, so um, gotta figure out how to open this thing. Okay, there it is. Let me let me grab my. We're not sophisticated enough here at Marlar House Productions to have a uh, to have a an envelope opener, so we use a butter knife. Uh, maybe one day, you know, when I get really really famous. Then maybe an actual letter opener. Uh, okay, so I wonder if this is going to be. I'm going to pull this drawer out just as a little table, just to be safe. All right, so open it up. Again, I've not op I've not seen anything like this. This is the first time I'm seeing it too. Opening it up. Dun, 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 dun. And holy cow, this thing is packed. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll see. I don't know if you can see everything here. Right at the top, I could see it says Netflix Stranger Things. There. And it says Hawk. <laughs> Did I catch it? Oh, I barely caught it. And on the other side, it says Hawkins Public Library. Uh, opening the doors of curiosity. So you get a. So it's it's a library card from the Stranger. Things universe. How, how cool is that? All right, so I'll move that over to the side. Um, here also on top, uh, we've got, oh, cool. All right, hey, um, if I wanted to actually get Creepy Crate, or I guess maybe if you guys want to, maybe I think you could probably use this as well. You can get 10% off if you use the Creepy, the, uh, creepy Crate 10 promo code uh, when you go to fright-rags.com fright-rags.com so okay yeah fright dash all right so apparently they're they're in cooperation creepy creates its own thing so maybe fright frightrags.com is another box maybe i don't know i'll have to check it out coupon expires the the end of the year though so better better get it uh, pretty quick okay well now i gotta check out fright-rags.com okay so moving on um Oh, something else from the public library of uh, Hawkins from Stranger Things. It's the actual library card. If you, For anybody who actually goes to libraries, you know that, uh, well, at least it used to be this way. I haven't checked out a book from a library in so long, but it used to be that you actually had to have one of these cards and your name would go on it and the, and the librarian would keep it and, and know that you were the last person to check out that book. And here it says, uh... Gina McIntyre is the author of this book, and the title is Stranger Things, Worlds Turned Upside Down. And it was checked out October 30th of 2018 by Dustin Henderson. Here you go. Let's see if I can get, get you to see that right there. That's really creative. That's really cool. Okay, so now we have the library card, and we have the library checkout card. So, all right, moving on. Okay, this is... All right, feast your eyes on a box full of horror. Okay, I think this is what comes with each box. Um, kind of gives you a, a, a think. I think if, if um, I'm guessing correctly, it kind of gives you a, a layout of what you'll find in the box. So, uh, feast your eyes on a box full of horror. It's our creepiest crate of the year, which would make sense being October. Uh, we partnered with mega popular YouTube channel Top Fives 
to uh, conjure a box packed with with killer goods. Join us as we celebrate the sinister season. Huh. I'm subscribed to Top Fives, too, on YouTube. Oh, wow, well, cool. Okay, first is... All right. Uh, first is the H.H. H. Holmes Murder Castle t-shirt. So... I bet this is it. I bet this is that. That's what this is. I'm going to set this down. It's a little hard to... I'll pull things out as I talk about them. Okay, I think this is... Yeah. Okay, so here's the t-shirt they were talking about. Right there. Uh, welcome to the World's Columbian Expedition, 1893, Chicago, Illinois. There's H.H. H. Holmes right there on the front. It's pretty cool. Extra large shirt that they sent. So it won't fit me. I bet my bride might wear it. I don't think she'll have any idea who H.H. H. Holmes is. But, uh, okay. Uh, so next on the list is... A uh, warmed over death tarot card mug, limited edition. Rise and shine from your. Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't read the the rest of the the description on uh, the the Murder Castle tea. I'm sorry. Care to stay the night? This exclusive tea features notorious American serial killer H. H. Holmes. Okay, so I was right about that. Uh, who lured an untold number of victims into his murder castle during the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. If you don't know anything about H.H. H. Holmes, it really is interesting stuff. You might want to do some research on that. Maybe I'll find a, a couple of articles about him for Weird Darkness to share, because it's really creepy stuff. Okay, so this is the uh, number two, is the Warmed Over Death Tarot Card Mug, limited edition. Uh, rise and shine from your eternal slumber, inspired by the Death Tarot Card. Uh, this is one, a one-of-a-kind drinking vessel and the per, uh, perfect companion for those chilly autumn mornings. So, this is it. How do you get it open? Oh my gosh. I may have to edit this video. Because it might take me 30 minutes to open this. <laughs> and I didn't... That is, okay, there it goes. Alright, there it goes. Alright, cool. Alright. Warmed over tarot card. There's the mug. Nice. Nice. We can, we never really could have enough mugs at the Marlar house. Especially my bride. She goes through mugs constantly. She, she's always drinking hot tea. Um, me, I'm always using a... Doesn't matter what I'm drinking. I'm using one of these big big puppies. Uh, it's a... Well, I'll, I'll tell you about that a little bit later on. I think I did a video on that some time back. good okay so uh anyway it keeps hot that hot stuff hot hot cool stuff cold plus it gives me a red tongue when i'm drinking red stuff okay so there's that okay next a newly released hardcover horror novel oh sweet okay this month your crate contains one of the two terrifying tales that'll keep you reading well past the witching hour Dracul, not Dracula, but Dracul, uh, penned by Bram Stoker's great grandnephew, Dar uh, Daker, Daker Stoker, Daisre, Daisre Stoker. Is that right? Daker. That's how it's spelled. D a c r e. Okay. Anyway, uh, as well as J d Barker, they both penned the uh, novel together. It is a prequel to the novel. Uh, Dracula. Cool. Uh, the Chilling Tale follows the original author, Bram, as he experiences supernatural experiences as a child that haunt him until he comes face to face with pure evil. <laughs> cool. Um, Devil's Day, the sophomore release by... Oh, okay. There's two. That's right. There's two tales in one. Okay. In the same book, Devil's Day. The sophomore release by Andrew Michael Hurley weaves a suspenseful tale of perturbing traditions in the English countryside. The folk horror novel finds itself at the intersection of inexplicable events, human behavior, and demonic influence, and draws a conclusion that'll leave readers unsettled. So, but a cool. I wonder if they need somebody to narrate this. Hmm? Hmm? All right. 
Even immortals have their beginnings. Wow. That is a lot of reading. <laughs> Part three. Wow. Very cool. I love hardcover too. That's uh, I mean, that, that's really classy. They they could just they could so easily have just sent you a paperback or even you know sent you a link to a PDF that you would download or like for Kindle, which I know people like that kind of stuff nowadays, but it's just, it seems so cheap to me. This is classy. You get a hardcover. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and then um, number four, my favorite holiday is Halloween tote bag. Okay, limited edition. Declare your devotion to the creepiest holiday of the year with this Halloween-inspired tote bag. And definitely Halloween-inspired, movie Halloween-inspired tote bag. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. And that's, uh, is that everything? Stranger Things library bookmark, which we showed you earlier. And then uh, horror movie inspired key tag. Do I have? Oh, I guess there is one more thing. A key tag. <laughs> uh, we know horror is the key to your heart. Carry your undying love of the genre wherever you go with one of 12 different horror movie inspired key tags, ranging from Motel Hell to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one, <laughs> this one is from Camp Crystal Lake. Wessex County, New Jersey, cabin number three, rest and relaxation since 1935. <laughs> that's clever. I like that. That's really cool. Well, that's the, uh, that's the creepy crate. No, nothing else in the box now. That's it. So that's really cool stuff. So uh, thank you guys. For, uh, thank you to uh, Creepy Crate for sending that to me. I really appreciate it. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube, and then I will post a link to it on the Weird Darkness Twitter feed. And if you just, uh, if you like twi if you like the feed, uh, Weird Darkness, and then uh, retweet this particular, the, the uh, that particular uh, post that has the video of me opening this creepy crate, um, if you retweet that, I will choose a winner from all of those retweets at the end of the month. All right, so that gives you a, a, a little bit of time. And uh, ask all your friends to do it too. I'm sure, that'd be really cool. All right, so that's what I'll that's what I'll do. I'll give it away uh, to a random retweeter of the uh, Twitter uh, post that I post with a video of me opening this. All right, so I'll be looking for that at Weird Darkness on Twitter. All one word at Weird Darkness. Okay, I'm gonna hate giving it up, but I'll <laughs> but I'll do it for you, my weirdos. All right.